What's good everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to organize your Procreate artwork using stacks within your gallery. If you're anything like me, you know what a fantastic app Procreate is, but you also know how cluttered your gallery can get when you do create a lot of artwork. Don't worry though, with the use of stacks, you can easily organize and find your artwork with a few quick taps once you set up and start using stacks. Let's not waste any time, jump in and have a look at what they are and how you can get started with them straight away. Step one, creating a stack. Firstly, I think it's really important to talk about exactly what a stack is. If you have a look at my screen here, I'm currently inside of an artwork, but if I press gallery on the very top left-hand corner of the screen, it's gonna take me back to my gallery view. This is what you're gonna see when you first open up Procreate. As you can see here on my screen, I've already created a few stacks here. The one down the bottom for my son has 48 different pieces of artwork in it. And this one here, which I've just created, has 218 different pieces of artwork in it. So as you can see, this could be very, very useful when it comes to organizing your art. Essentially, a stack is a group of artworks that are clumped together so you can free up other space within your gallery. How do we create one? Very, very simply, I'm gonna use these two pieces of art here. All I have to do is press and hold on one of these artworks, drag it across to the other one, and let go. Now, both of these artworks are in their very own stack and I'm already starting to make things more and more organized as I go. That's not the only way though. Let's have a look at these two here now. If I wanna stack these two, I could press select on the top right, select the artworks that I want to stack together and then I can simply tap on stack. Now those two have created their own stack as well. Step two, naming the stack. Once you've created a stack, it really is good practice to name that stack because you may start getting quite a few of these created as you go along your journey within Procreate. Luckily, Procreate have thought about this and it is very, very easy. All we have to do is be very precise and tap directly where it says the name stack right there. We wanna make sure we click directly on the word. If we click on the artwork, it's gonna take us into that stack. But have a look at my screen here as I tap on stack just there, I'm able to rename it. Let's call this one Roman goddess now that stack has been called roman goddess and we're good to go step three adding artwork to a stack this is going to be useful if you already have a stack created like we do here and i want to add artwork to that don't worry you can add as many pieces of artwork as you want to each stack as i said earlier one of my stacks has 218 different pieces of art in it so don't be afraid to go ahead and combine as many artworks under these stacks as you need. They really are a great way to stay organized. This is very simple to do. All we have to do is take the stack that we want to add the artwork to and drag and drop that on top of another artwork. If we have a look at my screen here, this is the stack I already have a few pieces of artwork in and I wanna add this artwork to this stack. All I have to do, press and hold on this one and drag it across and drop it on the artwork that I wanna add. And now that piece of art is within that stack. Step four, rearranging your artwork within a stack. This is something you may wanna have a look at. You might be organizing your artworks by months or years or even different types of genres, and you may want certain ones to appear at the top and not the bottom. How do we do this? Very simple. All we have to do is tap into one of our stacks that we have, and we can do the same long press on these pieces of art, and we can move them around. Have a look at my screen here as I long press on this piece of art, and I move it to the front and we've rearranged that. This is gonna be really good if you want a chronological order of all the artwork you do. Say you do wanna create a stack for January, February, March, every month of the year. You can go ahead and create pieces of art within that and make sure they're all appearing in the order that you did them in. Super useful and a really great resource to use when you're in Prograd. Step five, removing artwork from a stack. This is something you might need to do if you've stacked a whole bunch of artwork together and you realize, you know what, I don't want that piece of art in there. Maybe I want it in another stack or maybe I just don't want it within this stack at all. This is very easily done. All we have to do is long press on the piece of art that we want to move and we're going to drag it up to the top left until we land on stack. But we're going to keep pressing in and it's going to pop us back to the gallery view. I'll show you what I mean. Long press, move, hover over stack, and then we're back in the main gallery view and I can drag it and drop it anywhere I like. Now it's no longer in that stack, it's back in the main gallery. Step six, deleting a stack. You do have a few different options if you do wanna delete a stack. Keep in mind, deleting is a last resort, but if you are sure you wanna delete, this is how we're gonna do it. We have a few options here. First one being we could swipe from right to left across the stack that we wanna delete, and we could simply tap delete. That is gonna remove the stack and it's gonna be gone from your gallery. The other option is we could select the stack and then delete it. We could tap on select on the top right, tap the stack we wanna delete, and then we can go ahead and press delete. This will get rid of the stack and remove it from your gallery. And there you have it with these simple yet effective steps on how to create stacks and edit them 
you too can really streamline your Procreate workflow and take things to the next level. I highly suggest you use Stacks within your Procreate workflow. It really was a game changer for me, and I know that if you implement these two, it'll really help you along the way. As always, a like, subscribe, and share really helps me grow my channel and bring you this content each and every week. So until the next video, I'll catch you then.